Hey guys, today we are going to look at some foil prices and the foil prices of the Modern Masters 2017 pretty low right now. If you're looking to foil out these cards, I would say go ahead. These are extremely affordable. The one that I have my eye on in particular is Liliana of the Veil. Vale. At $140 for a foil, this is a beautiful card, and I feel like everyone should own one. And it's a classic Magic the Gathering card from Innistrad. The time period where Magic was growing and doing well, a long forgotten time. So now would be the time to pick her up in foil if you really want her. I don't see her not being a $200 card, $200 card eventually. All right, next cards that you should look out for is any old foils. Old foils tend to be very, very expensive. Now, what is defined as old? I would say RTR is the first time that they overprinted way too much. Yeah, there were times in the past that they printed a lot, but RTR, you can still buy boxes for under 70, discounted 5%. So like, let's say under 65 shipped to you and they will give you free junk. So RTR, way overprinted. Anything older than RTR should be fine as a foil, especially if it is a foil land. No matter how bad the land is, a foil land that is old will always have value. And ED8, because it's always a utility land. Odyssey was a good set. Uh, it's quite old, therefore this card kind of makes sense that it's $44, almost $45. So the next thing to look out for is old foils from in general. The older the foil, Mercadian Mask, Invasion. So when you look at Mana Maze, it's $57 as a regular card. The multiplier is tremendous. And I'm seeing this happen to a lot of old cards now where previously there wasn't that big of a multiplier. Invasion, the multiplier has just snuck up like crazy. The same can be said about, about all the oats. I mean, I look at Invasion, I look at Plane Shift, I look at these sets I grew up playing in the middle school, and the foils were never considered valuable. It actually was a disadvantage most times to have a foil because we didn't have sleeves. And your foil would, you know, curve. I mean, it's not as bad as today, but it would still curve and people would accuse you of cheating and yeah, especially if all of your land were foil. And that was the only thing that was foil, right? So Mana Maze, really pretty card. $32 foil, 57 cent regular card. Now, Conflex, Ancient Zygote, we need to talk about why this card is not more expensive as a original foil. It's because it has a foil version with the same art, I believe, in the so, um, sliver, yeah, the sliver deck. And I believe they give you two to three of them, maybe two. I have two, and I probably only bought one deck. So that is a good value. It's a $17 foil, a $10 regular card. You might ask, why has this card gone up so much in price? absolutely due to the five color human deck and modern that is showing results and this is the essential land this is the best turn one drop that you can play is something that gives you all five colors the human deck looks pretty good i mean it's winning it's beating the death shadow decks which is very difficult in the current meta to do so maybe it's um it's it looks like a good deck it looks fun too all right another big Price difference is Ghost Quarter, which is $1.50 regular, and $30 foil. The Dissension one is something outrageous in foil. It's uh, at least $40. I sold it to I sold it to a store for $10 because at the time it was $15. And then I've just seen it steadily go up and up and up, and I don't see it going down because it is a utility land for ED8s. It is a utility land in modern. Foil lands, pretty good stuff. And it is, so Innistrad is a unique set. It was before RTR. The boxes are more valuable. Even Dark Ascension, which used to be $70 a box, is over $90, $90, $100 a box now. So that's telling me that it's considered before RTR. And RTR is the first set 
Born in the Gods, Journey to the Knicks, Pharaohs, all of those got hit really, really hard. If you want to talk about a crazy, crazy multiplier, this card from M15 is 38 cents as a common and 22.50 as a on as a foil. No, it's 38 cents as a non-foil uncommon. It is 22.50 as a foil uncommon. That's outrageous because I mean, I don't remember this card ever being that expensive. There is a version of it, the full art game day version, I feel like. Was it game day? Maybe it's probably game day. That one is gorgeous, and that one has been trending up a lot in price recently. But the foil, it's twenty two fifty. That's kind of uh, out there for a uncommon from a recent set, a more recent set at least. All right, and then we're gonna finish off with expedition map. Yeah, even Zendikar foils are going up in price. Uh, my understanding of the foils is the old foils people appreciate more because the quality of the card was better. I mean, the card, quality of the cards today are not good. Yes, they supposedly fixed the quality in, in Iconic Masters, but there's something about old school foils where I've always enjoyed them far more than anything like the new foils foils from rtr and beyond they just look like crap i don't know how to say it but i don't know how to explain it they just don't feel right they don't you put them in sleeve and they're not like they're not pimp that's probably the best way i can put it is that because so, so much of it was produced is produced it's just not valuable because there's too much of it. So when I look at the foils today, like foil Liliana of the Last Hope, that's an interesting one. But it should be far more interesting than it currently is to me. I have really no difference. Um, no, inf I don't need more of those foils. I want more regular ones. And that is unique because typically I will take the foil ones of a card before I take the regular ones like the foil Phileas or the foil Liliana the Veil, I will definitely trade at a premium for those cards. But for Liliana the Hope, I think I just want the regular ones. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.